Now, I guess there was some sort of incident with you and Brian Nobbs during a tag team match that uh, didn't go too well. Uh, could you tell us what happened there? You know, I can't tell you how many um, wrestlers uh, have said this, and I know this for a fact, that the nasty boys were the stiffest fuckers on the planet and their work looked like shit. That's, that was always the hard part about it. And um, that was pretty fucking true, man. I, they hurt the fuck out of me on several occasions. I mean, really bad. I They knocked me out cold one time in the ring. I couldn't fucking move. And um, they used to come in and plan all the matches and never ask my opinion, never talk to me about how things were going to go or what I wanted to do or, you know, any of that. So one night. I uh, said to them, they came in and started telling us, telling me what the fuck I was going to do. And I said, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'm going to do what I want to do tonight. It's my turn to get my shit in. And if you don't want to go with me, well, then I guess you're going to have to fucking find out what the ramifications of not, you know, not letting me do what I want to do. And um, Brian blamed me for that. Brian hurt himself because he tried to dictate. This is a classic example. He tried to dictate how the fucking throw was going to go instead of him trusting me. And he couldn't trust anybody because he'd hurt so many people that he, he couldn't trust anybody because they would hurt him back. And I should have been one of those people that said no a long time earlier. And I didn't. And I finally said, no, you're not going to do that. And uh, I went to throw him. And once again, he decided he was going to run the show. And as a result of that, instead of following me and going over with me the way I was trying to throw him, he tried to jump straight over the top of me. And he 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 did it. If he would have just trusted me to throw him, he, he wouldn't have got hurt. And the other part was, if you're in the middle of a throw to throw somebody, you, you can't change that, you know. So he stood in a dressing room on several occasions and blamed me. And I said, yeah, I, because I was the one that jumped and jumped straight over and didn't follow the throw. So that's where I, you know, that's, that's kind of where it, it all came from. And uh, that's where it manifested itself. Um, and they got their shit in in the end anyway, at the match that we did um, in Chicago, they fucking hard way, both Mick and I on several occasions. So it was just more of the same from them. That doesn't mean the matches weren't exciting. And the nice thing about it is for the, from a fan standpoint of view, that was as close to shoot wrestling as you can get. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.